Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. Basil here to talk about the Huawei P20, just announced alongside the P20 Pro and the P20 Lite. The Huawei P20 is a very good looking 18 by nine or more than 18 by nine phone. This has a notch just like the iPhone, like the Asus Zenfone 5. The notch houses a 24 megapixel selfie camera. The screen's an LCD display. It's full HD or wide full HD, and there is a fingerprint scanner below the screen. Around the back, you've got a curved glass finish and you've got two cameras. One RGB sensor clocking in at 12 megapixels with 1.55 micron pixels. And the secondary camera is a 20 megapixel mono sensor. I mentioned the pixel size because the Samsung Galaxy S9, the iPhone 10, and the Huawei P10 all have smaller physical pixels. And Huawei suggests that means that the P20 will let that bit more light in and should perform better in low light. Have to wait until we get one in before we can test it out. There's also some smart camera software at play here. The thing that's caught our attention is called AIS, Artificial Intelligence Stabilization. And this looks like it's gonna be perfect for night shots. It can composite a bunch of pictures together while you're hand holding the camera and create a night scene image that looks as if it was taken on a tripod. The Huawei P20 can also automatically blur the background of a portrait as soon as it detects a face on screen saving you having to switch modes, a feature that you can turn on or off. And of course, this being Huawei, there are also a ton of other shooting modes from light trails right through to full manual. And of course, there's video. And yes, guys, this shoots 960 frames per second slow-mo, meaning that it is up to scratch with the Xperia XZ2 and the Samsung Galaxy S9 series, although it doesn't shoot full HD like Sony's. Inside the phone, you've got Android 8 with a Motion UI 8.1. This is a slight improvement over that which we saw on the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. AI has been integrated into your gallery so it can auto sort photos. This also has tons of storage, 128 gigabytes, and it's powered along by a Kirin 970 processor with four gigs of RAM. Despite being really skinny at 7.65 millimeters thin, this phone has a 3,400 milliamp battery, so it should definitely keep you going a full day. The Samsung Galaxy S9, for example, has a 3,000 milliamp battery, that's 400 milliamps less and a similar sized screen, so you do the maths. That said, as with any phone, real world use will dictate how it actually fares. So check back for the full review coming in the next couple of weeks. Hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thanks for watching Tech Radar.